Good, but you're really not there. You yes, know sir. what this is about. So what is it like to be a Buckeye? I mean, it feels it feels great to be here. Uh, really, with my brother, just being being able to put extra work in, uh, and then trying to trying to bring a national championship back to to the good state of Ohio. When did playing D? Uh, I mean, I love playing defense. I love I love the dudes on the team. And I think that makes it even even better. Is it What's more it like? fun to be like on the same side of the ball as your brother all the time now? I mean, it's really cool. Like we haven't really started practicing yet, but just being in like this environment with him, uh, watching him work, um, just being get to being his big brother uh, in this type of environment. Is pretty cool. When did the idea come into your mind that you wanted to transfer here? Uh, I mean, not necessarily until I entered the portal. Uh, I mean, I knew I wanted to play corner. Uh, and then, like when the opportunity came, I was like, "This would be uh, it'd be amazing to play at home with my brother uh, in, uh, in Ohio." Was it that hard of a decision when the opportunity came along? Uh, I mean, it definitely still was the hardest. I had to think about some things for sure, but at the end of the day, this was the best opportunity for me uh, to, to to excel. Was it just steady to come home, play with your brother? What was sort of like made this the obvious choice? Uh, I mean, we're trying to be BIA. We're trying to be the best cornerback group in the nation. Uh, I really, I really believe in Coach Wall, and I really believe in the guys we have on this team. And um, I think they can develop me to be the best, the best player I can be. Coach Walton played with your dad. Um, what, what was that? Did you know him before at all? Like, what was your relationship? Like um, no, Walton? I really didn't have a relationship with him prior to here. I, I mean, we, I, I know my dad and him had a relationship. So, but for, it really started when I, I entered the portal. What so, made you decide to enter the portal? Uh, I thought like I had the best opportunity to be uh, have a, like a long career in the NFL as as a corner. And uh, I think I have the highest ceiling at that position. Could you have stayed there at Notre Dame, or did you just think it was better to get a new start? Uh, yeah, I mean, I could have definitely stayed there at Notre Dame. Notre Dame, uh, it's a great institution, great place, great growth and staff. But I think this was the best thing for me. And what is it that makes you think cornerback is the best fit for your game now? Uh, I mean, I think I'm I think I'm a pretty uh, athletic specimen. I think um, my skill set fits really well. I'm explosive. I'm fast. Uh, I'm pretty long. I can run. So uh, I think just trying to have that translate to the defense side of the ball would be pretty effective. Is there still a drawer of Notre Dame stuff in uh, Pickerington, or is it all sent back? I mean, you guys know, like in this college football environment, we get a we get a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I definitely have some stuff back at home. But um, right now, I'm a Buckeye, so I'm wearing a, I'm wearing Scarlet and Gray right now. You're proud of those two years. Yeah, I'm proud of those two years. I I, I had a great time in Notre Dame. I started my freshman a lot of a lot of my freshman year and my my sophomore year receiver. So I think it's pretty cool just to start two years at receiver at a big institution and come here and now play corner and uh, hopefully uh, soon dominate on the field. And now, you made a big play in that stadium. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I made a big play, but. Uh, <laughs> We, we, we didn't win the ball game, and I mean that, that's what really matters in the day results. Just trying to produce. Now you've got three weeks into the season, you're going back to face your old team. What is that like for you? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm trying to win. Like that's I think there's really nothing else to it. Uh, me and my guys are going to prepare as much as we can. We're going to uh, come out there and uh, try to win that ball game. That is, ball game. It, is it a different feeling having you know, seeing those guys on the opposite sideline? Are you thinking about that at all? Uh, no, I just want to win. At the end of the day, that's really there's nothing really else to it. Growing up in the area, I'm sure you went to tons of camps like this. So how cool is it to kind of have the role reversed and you to be the, the, the big guy? Now? I mean, it's it's kind of surreal, like really thinking about it, just being back here at Ohio State, seeing like being from this area. Like I've seen some some of the parents or just some some kids I see like I've known before. So it's just uh, it's just a great opportunity just to be able to get back. I know last year with you and your brother playing, there was a spreadsheet in the family. Are the as your mom is, are they happy to not have to worry about the spreadsheet anymore? I mean, yeah, there's only one stop on Saturday, so <laughs> that's, that's really it. Are there any regrets that you didn't just start your career as a corner? Uh, no, definitely just because this, a lot of the skills I learned from receiver that's going to help me be the excel excel at the cornerback position. Just understanding route concepts, just understanding like what a receiver wants to do. Uh, I mean, I think a lot of a lot of corners they don't have that like receiver experience and understanding what an offense is trying to trying to attack and what they're what they're trying to get at. But uh, being able to understand that is going to help me uh, be able to get get my hands on the ball. You mentioned playing corner gives you kind of a long term chance to succeed. And that might be your best position going forward. Like, was that something you just woke up and realized one day? Was it somebody who gave you that idea? How did that like process start? I was actually kind of funny. So I just love playing like I just love playing football in general. So. We were uh, after the season ended. Uh, I, corners were out there doing some drills and stuff, and I was like, "Let me, let me hop in. Like, let me see how I'm looking." And I'm like, it felt kind of natural. I'm like, "Oh, like I kind of, kind of like this." And then when I was at Notre Dame, I asked Coach, Coach Freeman, I was like, "I, I want to try this position out," and uh, I really, I really enjoyed it. So, so backpedaling more than like forward pedaling. 
Uh, I mean, not really. I could do both. But, yeah. I mean, they want Ohio State wanted me to go play receiver right now. I'll be willing to play receiver. Uh, just really I want to play football, but I definitely think corners uh, where I will be able to excel. What is, What are some of the things you're doing like this summer, like to sort of make that? I know you played in high school, but like sort of like make the transition. Like are you watch a lot of film. Are you working with certain guys? What are some of the steps? You take um, to make that I mean, we have successful. some of the best receivers in the country, so that just using them to try to get inside, pick their brain a little bit, trying to just do different releases uh, and like just mirror them a little bit. And then we also have Denzel, uh, we have Jordan, we have different dudes in the room who I who I really respect a lot, and I I can, I can see they're hungry to try to be the best cornerback group in the nation. So just following them a little bit, uh, using Coach Wall and uh, all the staff and resources we have out here. Uh, I think that's just really, I mean, I have I have a lot a lot, of, a lot of growth to do right now, but it's going at an exponential rate just because I just switched over to this position too, so. What do you feel like your role can be this season? Uh, I mean, I, if, whatever the team needs me to do, I'm working to be a starter. I'm working to be uh, one of the best corners in the country. And I think that's just my mindset, trying to attack that every single day. Uh, no matter what it really looks like right now, that's my, that's my ultimate goal. Do you have an expectation to play immediately, or are you okay if, you know, this is kind of a development year and then you still have two more years? Uh, I mean, I don't want to say it's a development. I don't have the expectation. It's not anything really like that. It's, uh, I, I believe in myself. I know I'm putting in the work. So uh, just when the opportunity arises, I got to take advantage of it. What has been the best part about being back home? Um, probably going over my my mom's or uh, letting her like sometimes I'll have her come over she'll help me fit in my apartment a little bit make me something to eat stuff like that I think that's pretty nice but uh, I think it's really family I'm around a lot of love right now um, and it's just it's just I'm 20 minutes from home so it's just being around all that love. Do you have a favorite meal she'll bring home? Uh, I mean I love when my mom makes me some mac and cheese some some greens some fried chicken. Uh, she could she could whip it up. She could do her thing. God, can we come? Uh, <laughs> I mean, so I I would say so, but me and Sonny are probably gonna kill all the food. So I don't know about that one. What does this mean for your dad to just see you know both you and Sonny now playing for his alma mater? I mean, I think my dad's just proud. Uh, he has two sons. Uh, my dad my dad really put a lot into us. Uh, when we were when we were little, uh, I, mean, I remember like six a.m., seven a.m. We didn't want to get up, and he was making us put in that work. Uh, and he really showed us what what it meant. So now now to see us out here and uh, really just the, being in a being at his alma mater, I think just coming to the games, he's just a proud dad. Your dad was intense. I don't believe it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't think a lot of people would have done play, but yeah, he was he was honest for sure. Do you feel like you're ready to go up there and play corner right now, or is that kind of kind of depend on how preseason camp goes? Uh, I mean, I, I said I believe in myself. I mean, there's definitely going to be time to have some of the best shooters in the country. Uh, they're going to get me, but I'm going to try to get them more than they get me. So uh, I think it's just building sack and sacking days. What is it like working out with Marvin Harrison Jr. and Emeka Buka? Uh, I mean, they're, they're they're great football players, but I mean, I think it's more they're great people. They're great guys. I'm starting to develop a relationship with them and like just really starting to build a friendship, which I think really matters more than all the all the football stuff. How cool is it just to be here every day with Sonny now and kind of have that again like high school? I mean, it, it's definitely a cool opportunity, and I, I don't want to take it for granted. Like, I'm super I'm super blessed, but uh, I'm not necessarily just happy to be here. I'm trying to be one of the best players in the country, uh, and I'm trying to use all the resources we have here, uh, the coaches. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really bought into what they're trying to do right now, so I'm trying to be the best I can be. Can Sonny room together? Uh, no, I live by myself, actually. He lives with CJ.